an Arkansas man, a Tessa County Arkansas man to be exact. They saying like he got into it with a guy, right? And then, you know, our thing is this. We carry the pistol, we use the pistol, but we really don't want to go to jail because we love our kids, we love our family, we love, we love really to be free. Don't matter how hard the individual is, but they got into it. My man decided to shoot the pistol, murdered the guy, right? Left and went to Memphis. Now they, they, the Arkansas, uh, the forces, the, the police forces got together in the Memphis and they end up getting them in Memphis. A lot of times they know where you at because they know you might have a cousin there if, if you was born there or anything like that. They know that's the first place that individuals um going to run. You feel what I'm saying? Now the thing is, it's another brother dead, left in the yard, said when they pull up, you know, he in the yard just, you know, dead like a dog, right? Behind nothing. These situations be behind nothing. But when an individual do something, I respect it more if you do something and just stay there and wait on them. If, you, if that's what you want to do, you can stand there and wait on the police to come and be willing to uh, man up pretty much, so to speak, right? Because when an individual do something and you run and hide, it's something wrong with that picture. One might be asking me, what you mean something wrong with that picture? I just did something. Now I'm trying to get away with it um, and not get no punishment behind what I what what I did. See, the world, it don't work like that. It be bigger than law enforcement. It's bigger than us. It's 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 it's, it's a spiritual thing, it's a karma thing. It's a you you can do something and get away with it in your mind, but it'll catch up with you 10, 20 years later. I done seen people uh have mental the core of mental breakdown to where they couldn't take it. I was almost took out the game, like mental, like man, like am I gonna be, am I gonna do anything in life? This all, you know what I'm saying? All these type of uh, curses that be on the community. Anyway, my man ran to Memphis, got picked up in Memphis, charged with capital murder, a murder in this individual. Usually, when these situations go on, it's somebody saying, "Hey." This this dude, you know, he murdered this. Or and, and then it be, we do it at our emotions, get into it right there. You know, you get into it with a dude, pop out. People around everything. You just in your emotion. Can be some girls around, or you just feel like he check you, whoop you, whatever the case might be. You can't put yourself in situations because the streets is not the homeboys that's out there talking about the murder that this individual caught. You got the family that's mourning the one that's that's dead. You feel what I'm saying? And it's really a loss for the individual, the shooter. It's a loss. You, and, and you want to know why it's a loss? Because you got to go spend the damn near the rest of your life around nothing but liars, thieves, rapists, and a lot of them killers for real. A lot of us be accident killers because if you're a real killer, you're going to move around and just really just be killing people for no particular reason. If you're a real game banger, you're going to just going to be running around banging on dudes for, reason, uh, for no reason, just shooting for no reason. You feel what I'm saying? But all of it is fake at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? But I mean, I said I'll let to say this. When a dude do something and run from it, you don't want to go to jail for what you did. That means you didn't mean to do what you did. You really, did. I don't care if you killed the dude, robbed the dude, whatever it is you did. If you run from the scenario, you did not mean to do what you did. You don't want to go to jail. And that's the consequence, jail or hell. With this gang life, fam. You know what I'm saying? Or with the street, with the street life, period. A lot of dudes, I keep, I keep teaching on, on that level. Be good dudes with murders, fam. Don't be no killers. Uh, the next person that know that know my man, I'm talking about be like, man, if you know him, man, he was a good dude, people that 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 maybe really knew him. Like he was he was he was a good dude. And it be these situations to where a lot of dudes that 
you know, may not even be looking for trouble. You're carrying your burner uh, with you. You're moving around with it. You know you will do something. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, man, you got to give yourself time to think out here, fam. Or they going to sit you down and let you think for 40 years. And half of that 20 or that, or that 40, you've been there like, man, I done learned my lesson. Then I got to, you done got older, you done got wiser. Everything, everything was going on right now in this world, man, is momentarily, right in this minute, is mo in this minute, is momentarily, fam. It's in the past. The past keep jumping. So you got a different chance to be a different person every minute on the clock. Every day you wake up, every year, fam, it's on you. But you got to change people, places, and things, fam. Or else this be the business right here. But make sure you hit that like button, fam, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.